Here's problem 3022. Three long wires parallel to the x-axis carry currents as shown. If I is equal to 20 amps, what is the magnitude of the magnetic field at the origin? Anytime you see the word long wires, you we take that to the extreme. So we assume these long wires are actually infinitely long, and hence um, our Ampere's law equation will apply. In general, for a long wire, an infinitely long wire, the magnetic field is equal to mu naught i over 2 pi r. So we're going to employ that formula. Now in this case, we're given um, three currents, and one is 4i, so let's call that i1, and that's going to be equal to 80 amps at 4i. And then we have a 3i, so that's i2, equal to 60 amps. And then we have an I, so let's call it I3, and that will be 20 amps. Respectively, locate at Y equal 2, Y equal negative 1, and Y equal negative 3. And the first current's going to the right, second current's going to the left, and the last current's going to the right. Okay. So this is the way it looks, and we want to find the magnetic field at the origin, let's call that point P. Alright, to do this, we're going to employ the principle of superposition, so we're going to look at the individual contributions from each wire itself, and then superimpose them together at the um, origin. So looking at um, wire number one, we have magnetic field will be equal to mu naught, I1 over 2 pi R1. That's going to be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. I1 is 80 amps. And our distance from point P is 2 meters because we're located at Y equal 2 and P is at the origin. So looking at this, the 4 pi is cancel out and we get 8 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. Now that current's going to the right. If I were to point my thumb in that direction then curl my fingers around the current then at point P my fingers would be going into the page. So this is into the page for my neck field 1. Okay, my neck field 2 is going to be mu naught I2 over 2 pi R2. And that's going to be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 60 amps over 2 pi. And now we're only 1 meter away. So that's, that's going to be 1 there. And so we're going to have 4 pi divided by 2 pi, which will give me 2. So this is actually going to be equal to 12 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. And if I were to point my thumb in the direction of that arrow, then at point P, my fingers would be going again into the page at point P. So that's into the page. For magnetic field 3, we have mu naught I3 over 2 pi R3, that's 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 20 amps over 2 pi, and our distance from the origin from the point in question is 3 meters. So we're going to have, um, let's see, 4 pi over 2 pi, which will leave me a 2. And then I'm going to have uh, 40 divided by 3, which would be 13.3 times 10 to the minus 7. So it would be 1.33 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. And then pointing in the direction of that current, which is to the right, at point P, I would be curling out of the page. So I have two of these that are going into the page at the origin and one coming out of the page. So B3 will subtract from the other two. So my net magnetic field at the origin 
is going to be B1 plus B2 minus B3 because of the directions that these fields are going. So this is going to be equal to 8 plus 12 minus 1.33 all this times 10 to the minus 6. So that's going to be 20 minus 1.33 or 18.67 18.7 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. And the predominant direction of that then would be into the page as we've drawn it. So my answer for the magnetic field at the origin is 18.7 microtesla into the page.